Hello, I'm David Jones, and uh, in another video with Trading212, we're going to talk about uh, an introduction to the foreign exchange uh, the currency market. This really is a market that has become incredibly uh, popular with a whole range of investors and traders around the world in recent years. But I think it's one of those that there are still a few things that can be confusing. So hopefully in the next few minutes, we can cut through all of that and just explain how the foreign exchange market works. Um, it is the biggest market in the world. It trades something like $200 billion uh, an hour during the trading day. It's a 24-hour market with trading sort of starring off at the beginning of the week in Asia. And then as Europe gets to work, the focus for trading switched to there. And then as Europe finishes up for the day, the focus goes to New York. And when they finish, the whole thing starts again uh, back in Asia. So it's, it is a market that follows the sun around the clock. But I think there are still a few things that maybe people aren't aware of. First of all, or maybe get a bit confused by. When you're trading currencies, you're trading currency pairs. So no one currency moves in isolation. So for example, if you said the euro has gone up today, it's in relation to another currency. So if we just make a few scribbles on here, if we took something like, let's say euro, US dollar, then clearly this is the exchange rate between the, the euro and the US dollar. And if we see a chart where the market has done that, what we're looking at here, that is euro strength. So remember what I said, no currency moves on its own. If one currency is gaining and going up, then it's at the expense of another currency. So that currency is falling. So one way of looking at this chart of euro dollar, we could describe that as euro strength against the US dollar or US dollar weakness against uh, the euro. Okay, so it's almost a, a two-dimensional market that these things uh, move against each other which can maybe for people who've i don't know maybe bought things like shares before it can make it possibly a little bit confusing when it comes to trading but there's no reason why it should be because when you're buying or selling some people will say well okay if i'm buying euro dollar am i buying the euro am i buying the dollar what is it i'm actually doing when you're buying or selling currency pairs like that it's the first quoted currency that you're buying or selling versus the second. So if I bought Euro dollar, for example, I'm speculating the Euro is gonna rise and the US dollar is gonna fall. Again, it's, it's great to look at this stuff in theory, but let's have a look and actually place a trade in practice. So if we take a look at my screen here at the Trading212 platform, what we're looking at here, the chart I've got up is the chart of the euro uh, dollar exchange rate, the same one we were talking about when I was scribbling on the paper. So euro dollar over the last few days or so. So if I thought, well, the euro has come back down to this area around about 105.90. And whenever we've been here the last few days, the euro has gone up. So I may wanna take the view well, in the short term, maybe I wanna be a buyer of the euro. So I'm speculating the market's gonna move higher from where we are here. It's really easy to place a trade. Getting the direction right is the difficult bit, of course, but actually placing the trade is easy enough. So I'll go <clears throat> to the left-hand side here and I'll just click to open up a detailed trade box. So if I click on here, there's my trade box for euro dollar. I can choose how many I want to buy. I'll say 10,000 in this example. And you can see the buy and sell buttons get highlighted. If I click on buy, I'm speculating, just to recap again, that the euro is going to go up and the dollar is going to go down. If I click on buy and that's it. The trade is done. And it's really easy at the bottom of the screen to track how my trade is doing. So I bought at 105.946. The current price is um, just above 104.94. And there's my profit or loss in real time. So just to recap, you know, I've done a Forex trade here. I'm speculating the euro is going to go up by clicking buy. I'm speculating the euro is going to go up versus the US dollar. If I thought the market was going to fall, I could have clicked sell first of all, 
then I'm hoping that the euro is going to fall and the dollar is going to rise. So placing the trade is as straightforward as that. And one of the reasons that that foreign exchange appeals to so many people, the cost of doing business is relatively low compared to other markets. You have really tight spreads. And it's a market that's driven by almost everything around the world, whether it's the strength of economies, changes in interest rates, uh, political changes, all of these things can have an impact on the world's uh, forex market. So I'd say it's one of these things where, like any market, it can be difficult to figure out if it's going to go up or down, but the mechanics of trading it should hopefully be straightforward enough. And I think the best way, if you've never done it before, um, on a demo account, play around with it and get a feel for how these currency pairs work. That's it for this video. Hopefully we've demystified a little bit the world of currency trading and foreign exchange. If you'd like us to cover any other topics in the future, just put something in the comments below and me and Trading212 will take a look at it. But for now, until the next one, we'll wrap things up for there.